Today, I will be playing the Wild Horse side at Ross Rogers Golf Course every year. I set goals, and this year was to shoot an under par round. It's August, and my lowest round of 2021 is a 74, twice. So I decided to have some fun today and play the senior tees. The Yellows played 5,405 yards. Let's see what I can do playing the cheater tees. All right, we're gonna start on a par four, 328 to the green, hit a driver, hit it right in front of the green to the right side. This chip isn't great, but it leaves me a little birdie putt. Uh, ended up, it's about 15 footer, and I'll leave it out right. Just not a good putt. Tap in for par. Let's go to par five. We got water on the right side, so I'm being real careful. I, I could almost carry it from the senior tees. And yeah, I live in the windiest city in America. I got 144, hit a 50 degree, and hit a great shot here. Leaves me a little eagle putt. And I burned the left side. Nothing wrong with that. Tap in bird. So now I'm one under. Go to the par four. This is short. Have my three wood downwind, and it's a little too much. I catch the back side of the green here. Leave myself a dirty little putt. It's about a 50 footer, and I can't explain to you how delicate this putt is, especially at the end. It just it almost goes in, but breaks too much. Leaves me a six footer, and I cannot execute that putt. So three putt for par. Got 111 gaff wedge on this par three. It's a little deep too, but I got a birdie putt about 32 feet. Line's great, just not enough pace. Leave myself a two footer for cleanup. Tap that in. Par five, man, too far left, just too far left. I thought the wind would hold it up. Just not a great stroke. Leave myself 175, 172 to the green. I have to punch it out here, and I've been working on this shot this year because I'm always in the trees, and I, great shot there. Yep, the wind gets that chip. Anyway, I leave myself to about eight foot, and that putt was not great. You can tell I'm not pleased. So this is a hard, this is like number one handicap. It's 302 against the wind. I was really surprised to drive this green. This putt is one of the hardest ones on this side, and I am okay with how it turned out. You can't get aggressive there, especially with the wind. Tap in birdie, now I'm two under. So let's follow it up with something great, right? I hit the green on the left side, leave myself about a 50 footer. It's not an easy putt, and I make sure I mess it up. I don't get it there, leave myself a nine footer, burn the right side. Yeah, so that was a bogey. This is not a good shot. I got real lucky here. Just hooked it against the wind. You'll see this tall grass in front of me here. I was lucky not to be in there. But I do stick it pretty good here. Uh, it's about 16 foot. A little more pace this goes in, just not enough pace. Had to be careful. So tap in, another par, one under going into nine. Hit my three wood here. The plan was to be just short of the right bunker, and I execute it perfectly. It leaves me about 47 yards, and not too. I'm not. I'm not mad at this. It, I want to make sure I wasn't left there and leave myself a chip. Here, I thought the wind would push it more to the right. It just stayed straight. In this kind of wind, you're you're guessing. We're we're looking at about 30 mile, 30 to 35 mile an hour winds. So I'm out 35, hit four fairways, and I hit every green, which almost never happens. All right, so we go to the tent. It's a short par four. I drive it, you know, pin high to the right. I got real lucky here to be far enough to have an open shot here. Get a little aggressive with this chip because it's against the wind. I do the twinkle toe dance because I was worried about it going off the green. And Phil Mickelson would be jealous of that jump. Leave it in the heart short, and let's go to, this hole is where things begin to unravel. I'm very mad because the guy behind me, the maintenance worker, started the weed eater right when I was hitting. I'm not blaming him, but it did not help. 
he had nothing to do with this chubby shot. It was wet. I didn't hit, make good contact. Chips, I don't know, B minus at best. Missed this 10 footer, tap in for double. All of a sudden we went from one under to one over. Part five, you just hit it over the water here. Leave yourself a little iron in. Uh, 155 to the flag, so I have my pitching wedge and stick it. This is one of the best shots of the day. Unfortunately, seven foot, I cannot stuff the eagle in there to get that double back, but tap in for birdie. And here we go again. 202, this is a par four. I'm way up there. You gotta, getting over the trees is hard. And I just hit too much club here. It goes into deep stuff, so I have to two, take a drop, two stroke penalty. So this is my par chip, C chip, you know. Uh, this putt's pretty quick, especially downwind. You can see how it was rolling out. Those last two feet, it just kept rolling. Didn't want to drive it by. So anyway, there's another double. I'm mad at the maintenance crew, so he can get out of my way. Little cut with my three wood here. I thought driver was too much. And hit a great one in the fairway. I say thank you to him for turning off his mower. And here we go again, I stick one. Really nice to about five feet. You'll notice right here a bird flies over me. A kite buzzed me the other day, so I've been on the lookout for that. And this is called liquid Drano for a bird. Another birdie, so let's follow it up with what? I hit the green, spins back, I'm in the fringe, and at this angle I have to chip it. Another chip that's too short. Not pleased with that, leave myself a tester for par, and I leave this six footer on the right edge. And starting to talk to myself. Not happy, I'm getting to the end. I wanted to shoot at least a 72, and it's not looking good. Par five, I can change everything here. Guess what, the maintenance crew was where I wanted to be, and they had sprinklers on in the fairway. Hit it way right. 184 against the wind, and who would have thought a five iron was 40 yards too much? 40 yards over the green. Back pin, not a great look. And I decided to leave it short. That lie I had was good. This one was really bad, and you see the result. So I have a 15-foot tester for par on a par five from the senior tees, and I'll go ahead and tap that in for bogey. I am not pleased at this point. I got two left and I'm two, uh, three over. Hit three wood here. The idea was to get over the right bunker and I hit a great one. I'm right in front of the green. This chip almost hits my putter, if you notice. The chip distance was all right. I thought the wind would push it more. And the left side catches it. So no complaints at seven foot, I'm two over. Hit a three wood here, I would have never guessed that I could get to the green side bunker. And I did. On the left side, I'm on the, uh, the bunker. Here, I'm not gonna be playing games. I'll make sure and get it out. I'll leave it about a 24 footer, and this putt's not ideal or easy. But I'm happy with the lag, a little tap in. Puts me at a 75, uh, not what I wanted, but, or sorry, 74, not what I wanted. But I hit 14 greens, seven fairways, 36 putts. That's weird to see 36 putts. That's not normal, but that's, I mean, you're playing a senior tee, so I hit the greens a lot quicker than I usually do. Hope you like this video, guys. Hit subscribe, like if you like the video. Until next time, may your birdie putts fall.